wakati sasa umekuja kulima mara ya mwisho sasa unatoa kila kitu ladies and gentlemen welcome to eco frontline africa today we are visiting a farmer called samuel murivi in kieni constituency near county Murivi is growing onions on a 9 acre piece of land using water from a borehole powered by solar energy producing at least 7 tons of onions every given season come with me mm. yes your life mm. sasa ile kitu ilikuwa hapa sasa unaona sasa hii kidugu sasa dio dio tulikuwa tu harvest mwezi wa 4 but we cannot be able to have some swine kulinyesha kukinyesha kitugua itakaye mfua mingi kwa hivyo sasa what it did inarudi nyuma kidogo but it will still make it mfua sasa inanyesha alafu kuna kuwa najua eh now itakuwa na itakuwa sawa my name is Samuel Mlidhi Mushonu i come from this area this area is called uh, Kiawala in Ken Ken Ken, Ken County Uh, here we normally do farming and the farming that we do here we do onion farming but sometimes we do rotational farming we do with the beans and sometimes we do with the fruits kama kitungu sana you end up some of the minerals unaspata simeisha so ukiendea kulima kitungu hutapata ile product liko unahitaji. Mm. So wakati mwingine ukitaka ku change ama ukitaka to, to maintain the, the, the stand of, of, of your product you change the, the crop. Mm. Yeah, this is a, just a, for crop rotation. If you do crop rotation mm -hmm. ile ile madini inatumika kwa maharagwe eh, si inatumika kwa kwa ah, kitu. Kwa ah. Yeah. So that helps to improve the quality of soil. Mm -hmm. And they help to increase the yield which your main product is onions onions ah yes but also do you have market for the beans also as as you're doing crop rotation this is something that uh, each and every step of uh, each and every family uses the, the the beans so the market is always there it's, it's ready market it's a lead market so it's enhancing at the same time it's also a resource uh, sure, 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 income, sure 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 kiangalia sana sana what you are using a lot is manure ah from the cow yeah yeah from the uh, this is from the sheep mostly Sheep, eh? Yeah, sheep and goats. So you most of your farming you do with the uh, organic. Yeah, we try to do organic. Your, your organic. Manure. Most of ni kwa kuambia tunatumia manure kuweka kwa kwa kwa, kwa kitu yetu. Hii manure tunatoa kwa chamba yetu hali tu kuna kodo aina ya dopa na ndio tunatumia kinyesi yake kama manure. We use a lot of manure that is like organic farming in doing our business or in doing our farming here how was it when you bought it before you started the the the, the idea was just a, a beer land this is a semi arid area so without water you can do nothing and when you came here we got a shortage of uh, electricity the power here is a problem so we decided to use a uh, green power that is solar and uh, that's why if you see the area is uh, a bit green compared to the other farm on the other sides mm -hmm. yes so how deep is your borehole we did uh, at least 200 uh, meters and we got uh, at least uh, 12 cubic meter 12 cubic meter per yeah per, per hour to which is enough for us to do the, uh, the whatever we are doing here mm -hmm. this is a source of every this is a game changer yeah the game changer yeah yes. it your bottle this is where we did uh, 200 meters now we have a backup pump uh, so, uh, generator here mm -hmm. wakati we had a lot of kitugu on july kwa hivyo sasa The area was cool with a lot of crowd. Kwa hivyo and we needed water. So tukakuja na na, na hii, hii process ya, ya hii project tukasema acha tuweke the, the generator. Yeah. Wakati hakuna hakuna jua hata kidogo. We use generator. Okay. Tunaweka diesel. We did it we do it at night. Na ndio nikwambia ukipiga maji at night maji hawezi ka evaporate. 
Kwa hivyo ile maji umepea inakuwa consumed by the plant. Uh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. uh, yes. Mm. Sasa mmekuja wakati mzuri ya kusema na, na nikisema hii miti tulipada wakati tulitengeneza ile borehole. So we are counting the age of that borehole through these trees. Na isipokuwa ni ile borehole hatugeza kupada hii miti. Na ukiangalia kwa hii miti tumejaribu kuweka fence tukaweka matuda pia ya damane na miti. Hii ni matuda haijaanza kukoma lakini ukiangalia hii ni matuda tumepanda at least ipelekane na miti. Hii miti tumeipanda because of uh, weed breaking na pia usafi wa shaba. Ukiangalia between the neighbors and the neighbors <laughs> utaona tof- utofauti mm-hmm. na hapo ndio utaona maana ya solar system. Mm. Ini kitu ambacho siko nafikiria bileni before I came to, to this chapter 2021 but wakati nilikuja ndio nimekuja kujalize eh, through green energy. In this country mm-hmm. how to fight kusema maneno ya ja. I talked to I talked to George on 2020. Yeah. Na nikamwelezea maneno ya hii. He had been a uh, my consultant on boreholes. Okay. Lakini wakati uliogea na yeye 2020, nikamwambia niko chamba. In fact I had no money. So where he was working, George akaniambia ah ah nitakusimamia hiyo mradi. Akanisimamia hiyo mradi and uh, I paid through her purchase with no interest. Yeah. And that is what happened yeah. the sinking of the whole borehole because by that time uh, I think sinking of the borehole was coming to do by from uh, 6500 per meter, right? Mm. So and we went for we 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 we, we sank for uh, up to 200, 200 meters. So 200 meters was coming to allowed uh, 1.3 to which I had no money to do such a kind of a project. So George came and akaniambia hapana hii mradi tutakusimamia because we know you. Na we did it and we completed. That's wonderful. And yes. here is the product. And here is the product of COVID 2020. When people are not allowed to work. Yes and we are happy about it. Yes. As I told you before that uh, you cannot be able to keep uh, uh, solar power energy. I told you that we have a, a storage of uh, 400,000 liters that we did of a concrete tank which is here behind. As you look on top, we did a, 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 a residential house there which is a family done and that's where I live. To add on that that uh, the storage have done a lot in this field because uh, sometimes we have a rain a short lane and when you have a short lane we continue harvesting the water which we keep it here because as uh, we have the lane we don't use the solar we don't use the, the borehole water that water we keep it in this place what size of land are we talking about we are talking of that of nine acres that is all under horticulture Okay so how do you do your farming do you come here yourself or are you employing people I do employ people because uh, you cannot be able to to do or whatever you can see here alone so you you depend on uh, fridges that is uh, we came and uh, try to create a job within the the, the village and uh, we have uh, tried to to put it in stages so where is your target market my target market is just open because uh, come people come from uh, different areas you can get even customer from uh, Uganda Tanzania mm-hmm. and the other places without water here you can uh, you can do nothing with your your land you can totally do nothing with land but when you have water you will be able to manage your shaba well you will be able to do your rotation and many many other things mm-hmm. have you had challenges with your solar system not yet because uh, we depend on the the sun that is uh, that comes uh, maybe from 
up to 5.30 to 6 each and every day. The challenge comes only on, uh, that is July, when there is a lot of crowding and there is no sun. Uh -huh. But the other time, you just need a, just a like lightning, just a small light. Yeah. And you get water from the ground. So that would, the only challenge you might be having is the delay of lights when it's, there is too much crowding. Yeah? Yes, definitely. Mm, okay. yeah, but uh, the other time, because uh, if you look at this area, since I told you it is a arid area, mm -hmm. sometimes arid area mm -hmm. there is a lot of uh, a lot of sun, of course, yes. so we depend on that sun. Ah. Yes. Uh, since you installed this system, how mm -hmm. much would you say you've incurred from this particular system? Other than the fact that mm -hmm. the installation cost that you did one of, would mm -hmm. you say there is any other cost implication that has come since you did the installation? No, I can just say zero. In solar, the one as uh, once you do it. You are finished. No more cost, no more bills. You are just going to. You, 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 you are there to work. Kila kitu mtu anafanya hapa ni kusuguka. Until next time, I'm your host, Isaiah Espiso. Welcome. Mm. Next time, I'm your host.